In this paper slide, we will review the quiz on even and odd numbers, prime and composite numbers, and divisibility rules. Feel free to skip ahead in this video after you've watched the, first sli the second slide in order to, to move straight to the questions that you missed. After you watch this video, I'd ask that you do something for each question that you missed on this week's quiz. My preferred thing that you will do is write these, um, this sentence filling in the blanks for each question. So you would write, at first I thought, and write what your mistake was, but now I know, and write the correction, the, the new correct thing that you've learned. If this sentence structure doesn't quite fit for the one that you missed, you can also say, I forgot to something, or my mistake was, and explain your mistake. Once you've done this for each question that you missed, I'd ask that you turn in this, which you will write on notebook paper, along with your test by the th Thursday morning this week. Then the retest for this quiz will be taken Thursday during recess, and it'll be your responsibility to show up that day, um, right, out, right when recess is starting, in order to take your retest. Question number one said, circle all of the odd numbers in this group. The three odd numbers are 23, 181, and 9,731. We know that each of these numbers are odd because the number in the ones digit is an, is an odd number, 1, 3, 5, 7, or 9. These three numbers are even because they all end in even numbers. Number two says, give two reasons why 284 is an even number. Well, the two most common or two easy reasons that you might write down is first that 284 ends in a 4. That is one reason that's an, it's an even number because in the ones place we have a 4. Um, a couple other reasons that you could have written down is that when you divide... into two groups there are none left over a few other things that you might have said on this one um, is that 2 is a factor of 284 you might have said that 284 was divisible by 2 and one other way that you might know that 284 is an even number is that if you were to skip count all the way to 284 by twos, you would say this number. Question number three. Mr. Prophet said that all even numbers are composite. Is he right? Why or why not? Well, the answer is that he's right somewhat. The reason is that even numbers are composite because they're divisible by two. But the thing that he's wrong about is that is the number 2. 2 is not composite because its only factors are 2 and 1. So he's right except for the needs to say but except for 2. For number four, we have to put a check beside each statement that is true. I think that many of you missed this problem because you forgot what these operation words mean. So first, let's go through and mark each of the operations. Sum means to add, difference is subtract, and product is multiply. Add and subtract. So I'm going to add two, num two odd numbers, for example. 3 plus 5, and I get an even number. So this one is not true. The difference of an odd and an even number is in fact odd. I get an odd answer, so we would check that one. The product of two odd numbers, let's try 3 and 5, is 15, and that is odd. The sum, that's adding, of an odd and even, let's do 5 plus 4, is odd. Yes, 9 is odd. And the difference of two odd numbers, let's do a 5 and a 3, is a 2. That says odd. Well, it's actually even, so that's wrong. So we should have put a check beside the second, third, and fourth questions, or statements. 
Number five said, is one prime or composite explained? Well, the right answer is neither. And the reason that prime, that one is not prime is because prime numbers have to have two different factors. The number one and itself. Well, one only has one. And the only factor of one is one. It's not composite because it has to have um, more than two factors. Let's write that, write that here. More than two factors. And we've just said that it only has one, so that makes it neither prime nor composite. Next, we were asked to list five prime numbers. The easiest way to do this would be for me to start with the smallest ones that I know. Two is a prime number, because the only way to get two are two times one. Three is a prime number. Four is not a prime number, because two times two makes four. Five is a prime number. Six is not, because it's even. And two times three makes six. Seven is prime. Eight is not prime. Ten is not prime. Eleven is prime. So these are five of the lowest um, prime numbers, easiest ones to remember. Remember that prime numbers are um, made by multiple. The only ways you can make them are one times the number itself. Number seven says to circle all of the numbers that are factors of 624. For this, you would, whoops, there shouldn't be a seven in here. For this, you will use your um, divisibility rules to figure out each one. One is a factor of every single number, so we would definitely circle that. We're going to go ahead and circle two because 624 is even. The two rule says that if the number is even, that number is divisible by two. Three is the number where you will add up each of the digits and find out if the sum is divisible by three. So 6 plus 2 plus 4, that would be 8 plus 4 is 12. 12 is divisible by 3, so the whole number is divisible by 3. 4, this is one of the ones that was most commonly missed. 4, um, finding out if a number is divisible by 4, you look just at the last two digits without doing anything to them. And you ask yourself, if this, if this last... Um, the number in the tens and ones place, this number here, is divisible by 4. 24 is divisible by 4, because if I count by 4s, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, I do say that number, so 4 is a factor of the whole number. 5 is not a factor, because it does not end in a 5. 6 is a factor, because I already know that 2 and 3 are factors, so we will keep 6. And 10 is not a factor because it does not end in a zero. Eight says, is four a factor of 934 and how do you know? So we, for the fours trick, we just look at the last two digits and ask ourselves if four is a factor of that number, 34. When I count by fours, four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, and 32, 36, and last comes 40. So since I don't say 34, I know that four is not a factor of 34, nor is it a factor of 934. So no, it's not. And the reason that you would write is because um, we would say 4 is not a factor of 34. Next, we have to use the threes rule to find out if 3 is a factor of 234. The threes rule is the one where we add each of the digits. So 2 plus 3 is 5, plus 4 is 9. The sum of the digits is 9. And since 3 is a factor of 9, we know that 3 is the factor of this whole number. So we're going to say yes. And then we're going to say because the sum of the digits, which is 9, is divisible by 3. And finally, number 10. Is 435 prime or composite? Explain how you know here on the back. So in order to determine if it's prime or composite, 
we must find out if we know any other factors besides one in itself. Of course, we can get 435 by going 1 times 435. But if we can use our divisibility rules to figure out if any of these other numbers are factors, then we know immediately that it's composite. Well, it's um, we know 1, of course. Um, it's not divisible by 2 because it's not an even number. But let's try 3. 4 plus 3 is 7 plus 5 is 12. The sum of the digits is 12. Since 12 is a multiple of 3, we know that 3 times something is going to give us 435. We also know we can skip down to 5. Since this number ends in a 5, we know that 435 is divisible by 5. So 5 times something will give us 435. So because we see that these are the factors of 435, we know that it's composite. Many of you did that work but forgot to write the word composite. And then we're going to write because 3 and 5 are factors.